G'day, my name is Chris Mouflard and I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level 1. Manual element assignment and unassignment. The aim of this module is to show you how to use the paint function to define the LBS and teach you about why we would assign and unassign 3D elements. It is assumed that you have watched and recapped on the LBS Planner series as well as watched the previous Schedule Planner videos. Basically, locations contain everything within their physical boundaries, but you may want to add other elements to be built together within that location. Alternatively, some elements may be split and you will want them to be in the correct location. The best practice to assign a model element to a location is to first right click the location and select manually assign 3D elements. You can then go into the model and select the 3D element. When selected, the 3D element will highlight red. At that point, hit enter to assign it to the new location. As you can see, it has been assigned and the hazard sign indicates that this is a manually assigned element to this location. It should be noted that the slab on grade will not be cut by zones because it has been manually assigned to a location. It is imperative that we refresh the model to update the LBS. Let's go back to the LBS manager. We can now isolate the slab on grade and note that the 3D element appears in the correct location. In this vignette, you should have an understanding of why some elements need to be manually assigned to a LBS and how to use the paint function to define the LBS.